Hello people of YouTube watching kind, we are going to do a video on MC Edits. It's probably one of my favorite programs for Minecraft to save you guys a lot of time and yeah, so let's get started. Let's just call this YouTube I f oh. you to sorry I haven't been posting videos in a while. I just haven't felt like doing it. I'm sorry. Sorry. I guess. So you wanna just save a world as under Minecraft so it's easier when you open up MC Edit. And I am in Minecraft one point six point two. So we spawned here. This is laggy because I'm not on my good computer. So you just wanna make sure you got the world pretty good. Dude, this is an epic world. Okay, so let's just make this world more epic by saving and quitting to title. Keep this open just to save a lot of the time and effort. Then you wanna go download MC Edits. I'll have the link in the description but be below. So you just want to open it, it might take a while. And I haven't updated mine, so it's kind of stupid. So you load your world, YouTube, yes. Just let it load the chunks. And then let's go put a house right here. So first we would, oopsies, we would want to make it flat. Actually, let's make a whole village here. We're gonna go big. Let's just make a village up here. So, oh my gosh. Nope. Control Z. I failed at that. Let's... Let's just make a village inside this side of this thingy majigo. And this is actually really hard to control, so don't laugh at me. If you're laughing at me, you are banned for my YouTube. Not really. No. Dude, this selector is so difficult. So let's just, whatever. Let's just put it right here. Let's just make it the flat land right here. By just getting the selector tool, selecting an area, and then you press that beautiful delete button. I mean, I'm not sure if yours is beautiful. Then you just press deselect. Then you have this pretty flat area that you just made. So next, I just wanna make this just a little bigger. So I get at least putting three houses here. I'm saying three houses. Then you just press Control S. Save this. It's good to save. If you're working on a big project. Oh my God. No, I failed. Just right. And then you just press Control S. Do 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 do. Okay. And then you just want to close out of this. Once you've saved it, go back into your your file that you made, and you gotta find where you just put it. I think it's over here. Yeah, it's right here. So I just made this really cool flat area. This is good for servers. Like if you want the spawn to be right here. You just want this cool. I don't know. So then I'll show you how to copy and paste objects. So I am going to find a flat area to make a house. Okay. Well I'm going to make a house here. So I'm just going to pause it for now. So. Yeah. Okay, so we're back here with my ugly house that doesn't even have a roof, but I really don't care. And you guys might be asking why I have green wool, lime green wool in my hand. Well, this is cause I need it. So, to make sure you don't have this stupid grass that on the bottom, you just want to place a block here, just for MC Edit purposes and make it easy to select but you'll have to delete them later so 
Yeah. And my small little cabin, as some would say. See, I just put down a lot of this, these chests and entities, so I could show you that it does save. And I put down this sign, so you guys could see that signs also get saved. So basically what I'm trying to say is there is going to be like three different identical of these ugly houses. Scary? Yes, I know what you're talking about. So then you just want to save and quit to title, then you go to your file, open up MC edits. Hopefully it doesn't take forever. <sighs> okay. So then you go to load world, you find the lo world that you made. And then see this is why I said that these blocks are useful cuz then you get everything on your house and not just the stupid roof and then you just want to bring this up by clicking on the top holding and dragging and then you want to um click export or you could press control E if you fancy but I just like clicking this and then you could call this um let's just call it creepy house and I failed that spelling but I don't really care so then you could go to your place that you want your house then you press this import that looks like a crane that's holding something you find your creepy house or whatever you named it and then you want to rotate it till it's in the direction you like then you just press you click where you want it then press enter if you like everything and if you say you put this in underwater and you don't like it you just could press control Z to delete it and it's gone gosh dang it why did I okay let's just rotate this place it in press enter and then let's just put in let's say three more since these are pretty small houses and then enter and then you just go import so it's pretty self supplanatory oh. hard words and then you just place it and then I'll put one going in the different direction to show that you could also rotate it and also if you put it inside a wall if I could succeed of doing this I forget what happens you could rotate it which I use most of the time whatever let's just make it super bunchy okay and then let's just do control s it should save pretty quickly <laughs> okay and then you just press X out of that X okay no X just wait I am having problems exiting out okay so there we go you go to you, the normal minecraft find the map and then you go to where you copied and pasted it a lot and let's go look at the sign I hate this small house like last time that was down there and then if you want you just go bam 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 okay you, these stairs didn't come because I bunched these houses too close together if you guys were wondering why which I would not advise bunching houses this close together because it just doesn't look cool see all of these houses got their staircase rip off so I think this is about all that you could I could show you in 10 minutes of MC edit so bye guys